I got a pleasant good evening, everybody. This is Sports Sign News. I'm Joe Borg, and this is going to be a preview to the games this evening. A quick couple minute preview to the New York Rangers versus Carolina Hurricane and the Battle of Alberta, where I guess the over under is like a million goals. But in the game that was the Rangers against Hurricanes, that was a very solid goaltending battle between Sestark and Ranta, but more so just good defense. Not a lot of high octane activity in that game. But. Early on, there was more high-octane activity to the Rangers, even in a game that didn't have a lot of it. I would give the favor to the Rangers there when they were able to eventually then get the goal by Heidel, who had a couple other chances as well as Lafreniere, who had the assist, who had a couple other chances in the game, but were not able to get it through Ranta. And if you keep a team like the Carolina Hurricanes in it, well, you're screwed, and that's what happened as Sebastian Ajo was able to tie that up with a wrist shot of his own. And there was nothing Shesterkin could do about that. And then Ian Cole scored in the overtime as it went off of the stick of Lindgren. Today, though, playing like that and playing with the great defensive ability to limit the shots of the Hurricanes, who are a team that's pretty damn good at being able to enter the zone and get behind the defense and use their size with those lines as well to their advantage, they weren't really able to do that in that game. They were just able to find a way to win in the end where the Rangers were not able to do that. So the key for the Rangers would just be to come out strong again, but be able to find a way to get more of that tic-tac-toe passing and not playing as much along the boards with the Hurricanes. You would like to see them kind of get the more amped offense that you usually are used to seeing from the Hurricanes <clears throat> rather than what they were able to perform in that game. Granted, they did only score three goals to clinch the series win last series, but they did have a couple games that they did score five goals and really push it well against the Boston Bruins. So you're kind of looking for that offense to wake up a bit that was pretty dormant in the game until Ajo was able to score. And then, of course, Ian Cole in the overtime I would still have to lean towards the Hurricanes in Game 2 because it wasn't even their best game. They only played an average game, really, at best, where they relied on Ronta more early and then were able to balance it out, and it became a defensive game that they were able to hold them after the Heidel goal and then be able to get two goals, one in regulation in the third and one in OT by Ian Cole, of all people. So I would have to lean the Hurricanes because they didn't even win the game, or they did win the game, I should say. The Rangers didn't even win the game that they played most of the game a better game than the Hurricanes were not able to prevail there. So I think the Hurricanes are going to come out even sharper in this second game, and it's going to be on now the Rangers or Shostarkin to just steal them a game, and we know the latter can definitely happen, but it's going to be on the Rangers to kind of round out their game more. And the first line didn't even play the greatest in that last game. It was more the second and third line playing better, so you would like to see the first line for the Rangers play better as well. Now in the Battle of Alberta, that was just a ridiculous scoring Bout. You would expect this game to be more of a five total goal game or six total. Definitely not double digits goal totals again. But again, the Flames didn't play. They started off playing their best game and then just fell asleep and then allowed the Edmonton Oilers to come back and then were able to still prevail in the end. So from their perspective, it would be do as good as you did in about the first like 45% of the game. And then just don't collapse or fall asleep for the rest. And you're set and you're Gucci if you're the Flames. If you then collapse like that, eventually that's going to cost you. Because the Oilers, as we saw, they're great at taking advantage of mistakes. And they're great offensively. Their problem is they're not good defensively. And they weren't good defensively in this game either. So if the Flames are able to continue to get behind their defense and continue to play us for them there, I don't think the Oilers are going to have a chance in this series. The Oilers have to be more aggressive. They have to probably play some of their shot-blocking defensemen more because, yes, is it not the sexiest thing to do? No, it obviously isn't to play your shot blocking guys more. But, in mind, you got to do what you got to do. And <clears throat> Russell's more of a guy that blocks shots. And he might not even be in the lineup tonight. And I don't really understand that because he's one of your better guys at blocking shots. And you have to be able to do that against the Flames because you're not keeping them to the outside fluently enough. Keith doesn't do that at all. And Bouchard's more offensively savvy at this point of his career than he is defensively. CeCe's the best guy on there keeping guys to the outside as well as Kulik because Barry doesn't do that at all either. And Nurse is inconsistent as that even though he's their best all-around defenseman. So... I don't know why Chris Russell wouldn't be, and I think that's a mistake as a playoff guy. He's one of those playoff performing defensemen that can block shots and stuff, but it does have him listed as out. Uh, that's very interesting for me if that besides it become the case. I'm also don't know why they keep throwing in Archibald. He's an energy guy, but you might as well just put in Brass. Brass has experience, has been in a postseason 
I would throw him in over Josh Archibald, but that's just me. In this one, I'm definitely leaning Flames. I'm more confident with the Flames goaltending. I think Mike Smith will bounce back in this game, but the Oilers didn't have the best game. He was able to score in that game, but overall, Drysaddle did look affected by his foot injury. So it's going to be interesting to see what's able to come of him and if they're able to have any defense because there's no way the Flames are just falling asleep on defense back-to-back games because they are a good defensive team. The Oilers aren't. If the Oilers are able to have enough defense, and I don't think they will, so I would have to lean towards the Flames going up 2-0. But this has been a preview to tonight's action. We have the Battle of Alberta yet again, and then we, of course, have the great first game that starts at 8 between the Rangers and... And the Hurricanes is the Rangers look to bounce back or the Canes look to go up 2-0. Peace out, everybody, and stay safe.